Pacific Island Leadership Program to meet new people, to learn from them. I saw it as an opportunity for me to develop my skills on the international level. And opportunities of building networks with other professionals. I thought it was a more uh, diverse program and uh, more inclusive in terms of understanding the Pacific, taking leadership to the next level. This whole experience was at first very overwhelming to me because uh, I had never been out of my country uh, to attend any such a course, especially with the diversity and uh, it has broadened my social networks. Now I can engage with people all over the Pacific. Aside from all the um, coursework and uh, lectures, I think building of relationship with among the people in uh, networking and basically having fun together. I really like the interacting activities that they do. I think with that, it would really help me in my um, line of work that I do because as a counselor, um, I deal with students and I try to help them identify what their problems and how I can help them. Also the sessions by some of the East-West coordinators some of the sessions on leadership, they were really uh, resourceful in a way that we can learn, maybe apply. The 25 people that, that I came to know through this program are very dynamic, they are very uh, mature, they are experienced. I enjoy working with them and sitting down in the discussion groups listening to them. We sort of came into the program with open minds, knowing that our differences make us unique from one another. But it's the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, that connects us together. The Pacific Island Leadership Program has opened a new dimension for me. I've learned that leadership is first some personal thing that you have to work on, then enhance it on the professional way. This program already you know, helps to take me to another level of building you know, that potential of not just in country, but uh, on a wider scope. A lot of my learning has been outside the classroom, just the normal interactions with the different people from uh, different Pacific Island countries, including the students from uh, Asia Pacific and everyone else that we interact with. Since the beginning of the program, I think I have changed in the sense that I'm trying to listen more. Never used to listen before. One of the things that we have learned and we've admired is Taiwan's strive for innovation and creativity. The industrial parks that we have visited is a testament to that. With the increasing scarcity of land, the government provided the opportunity for international and university companies to come and set up shop, manufacture goods, and provide services. With the Pacific as a whole, firstly, our own identity and our own self determination realized, and also aspects that we are not dependent on our big brother countries. I think that's the challenge that within this century that we are confronted with and I guess being realistic about it. I would rather start something, going back to the community, perhaps starting an organization to be among the, my own community people rather than staying in a different location and trying to make a change from a far distance. I hope to create a virtual space for those in the village who can have access to knowledge that those in towns have, and that is to create a virtual classroom. It's hard to really get students to engage in maths and be interested in that subject. That's what I like to do, go back and find ways to encourage young students to be interested in that field. I know it's going to be hard to do with the national level, so I like to start with the level, and then I now know I can take it up to the national level. I would like to become uh, successful uh, as well as sitting one of the director posts in the organization back home and also try to pursue further in my career and I'm looking forward to be one of the agriculture economists back home. I see myself being a key contributor to my country in terms of being involved in leadership, empowering uh, the youth, being able to be involved in a lot of the key dialogues that go on for my country in terms of diplomatic relations. In the practical world, we deal with many different people. I think one of the best things that we can do is try to see the best in people. In a highly diverse place and working with many different personalities, we should always keep in mind that there is a best in everybody. PILP is a very uh, 
good program that supports the future generation of leaders. And I would like to um, thank the Taiwan government for the support as well as encourage uh, the possible um, stakeholders and donors who are in this um, endeavor to support the young and future upcoming leaders to come forward and support. I'm sure the, there is a lot of positives that will come out from all the support that um, you give towards such a program.